let's talk about rainbow swamps. As you know, we love a good swamp here and sometimes they can genuinely be rainbow colored. So this is what the rainbow swamp phenomenon looks like. It's seen in the more swamp wetland areas of the American South and only happens under quite specific circumstances. The first one being it must be in a swamp with a high level of cypress trees because the cypress trees are the main part of why this rainbow swamp happens. Cypress trees are evergreen growing needles that they kind of drop continuously throughout the year as the needles age and they just fall down into the water in the swamp. Then they kind of sink to the bottom when they become waterlogged and start decaying, which releases plant oils during the decomposition process. Those oils float to the top of the water because, again, oil and water does not mix, even plant oils, and it kind of sits on the top of the water in a very thin film. This is similar to when you're in, like, a parking lot and you see a puddle with some oil on it and it has that rainbow sheen as well, but this one also needs a couple more things to happen other than just the cypress oils. You also need bacteria, specifically an anaerobic bacteria in the soil and kind of ground of the swamp. These bacteria are doing a process of reduction on iron, which is again a necessary thing to create this phenomenon. I'm not entirely sure why, but it does not occur in swamps without this specific iron reducing bacteria. The last thing needed is like just very still water with very minimal disturbances on the surface. If there's too much wind or too many fish or insects on the surface of the water, the kind of rainbow illusion will get disrupted. It also can only be seen at certain times of the day when the sun is at a certain angle that causes the oil and other things to refract the light in this very cool rainbow pattern. If all of these conditions line up, you get the very, very interesting looking rainbow sheen on the top of the swamp. But since it takes all of these exact conditions, it is a rather rare phenomenon to see and a lot of people don't even know that it is a thing that happens in all of these swamps and wetlands.